Hello everyone, this is James from CVG and I'm joined today by Justin Tal from Games Radar UK. Hello. Hello, and Justin, we are looking here at Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, the latest edition in the Plants vs. Zombies universe. Yeah. And what is on screen right now is the co-op mode, which you can have up to four players playing, but this is a two-player co-op session. And they are building up their base to stop the zombie hordes. Absolutely. As you can see, it's, it's third person now, third person action uh, with shooting. It does have some elements of the original uh, tower defence system. You see at the bottom of the screen there, he's, he's planting uh, a mushroom in the mm -hmm. plant pot there. So which is nice, you know, because you don't just want to have shooting, you want some elements of the old gameplay in there. Yeah, there's lots of different things you can build up uh, which will stop the zombies from coming. It's, it's a wave-based mode, so you'll get time at the beginning of each wave to replant the pots. Uh, to build up your defences again and, and get in position to yeah. attack them. You can see at the top screen there, um, the future cactus is using one of his powers, which you can see on the bottom right-hand side of every screen. Uh, these are unique powers to each character, which allow them to do special things, which deplete over time, but then once you've used them, they will build back up again. Yeah, it's completely different from the original Plants vs. Zombies, or its sequel, Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. But some of the zombies from both games are in this, so you've got characters from the series mm -hmm. and Crazy Dave's back of course. Uh, yes, Crazy Dave is back. <laughs> um, we should mention that the Xbox One gets two exclusive modes in this, one of which is a boss mode which uses Connect and Smart Glass to let you control either Crazy Dave or the evil Dr. Zomboss which is voiced by Russell Brand. Wow, Russell Brand, imagine. Yeah. Um, this game type that we've got on screen here is uh, Garden Ops, which sees up to four players facing bosses such as the Yeti Zombie. And every three to four waves, um, Dr. Zomboss' slot machine will spin to determine which enemies appear in the next wave, which gives it a bit of a different feel every time you play, I guess. Yeah, obviously this kind of game has been iterated several times. Obviously it's got elements of Team Fortress in there, mm -hmm. which can only be a good thing. Obviously it's a, a multiplayer classic. Obviously they've kept some elements of the original game and... Uh, PopCap did such a great job in the first instance of making this amazing universe. So I think this looks fun. Yeah, and as well as this mode, we should mention that you also get a 24-player multiplayer action, so 12 versus yeah, 12. 12, versus 12. Uh, so you choose your side in that. You can have either, obviously, plants or zombies. zombies. And as part of that, you can personalise your favourite plants and zombies uh, and pick your class, and you get the normal soldier, engineer, scientist, and an all-star class uh, to pick from. As you can see here, the guys on screen are actually currently trying to defeat this tombstone, which is important because these tombstones act like sort of zombie horde spawn points, so you need to get rid of them as quickly as possible to have a chance of beating that wave. So that's our, our little sneak peek at Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. It's out on Xbox One and Xbox 360 late in February and the PC version is also on the way.